Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Look, don't all of this weight. We ain't even gonna talk about it. <laughs> we not gonna talk about it. But how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Today is Wednesday, the thirteenth, because I get paid on the fifteenth, which is Friday. And that paycheck is not gonna be what I would like it to be, but it is what it is. I will fill you guys in on my income and what's been happening since the beginning of this year um that's all around my mental health okay my point of doing these videos is to break it down a little bit at a time versus trying to put everything together and luna you bet not no sorry luna, okay now sorry about that y'all so this video is i have some decisions to make okay so yesterday i was like candace you're going to be productive and that i was you guys i ended up filing my taxes i already knew what i was going to owe um so this will be the last year of me claiming james as a dependent um, he is 17, so one thing, um, now I never really paid attention to this, and I really didn't care either, is that if your child is 17 at the end of that year, then I, what you don't qualify for the child tax credit. I did get $500 for, like, when I look at everything, there was $500, I thought it for, said for ch child tax but I don't know. But anyways, based on what I was reading from the IRS, um, I wouldn't be able to for I wouldn't be able for that. Um, so I actually owed on state and federal. Usually I will get money back from federal. State for the past couple of years, I've been owing money. So for state, um, this year I owed $289. Federal, I actually owed $559. Now, I do believe if Jamez was 16 at the end of the year, I would have got a refund probably around a couple hundred dollars. Um, but it is what it is. Your child gets older, and you know, so yes. <laughs> so, um, all together, I have a tax bill of um $848 now when I filed my taxes I I was just like okay yes deduct it from my um check my savings account so those will be deducted out probably within the next couple of weeks I filed Jamez taxes and Jamez is actually going to get a refund um he is getting $230 from federal and then a hundred and fifty four dollars from state so that's three hundred and eighty four dollars good for him i sent him a screenshot while he was at work and he put like a frown face he like is that mine and he thought he owed money <laughs> i should have i should have been like yep and took his money but now i don't mess with y'all mess money at all i will say i know people in my life that they take control over their kids money let me tell you something these kids work hard if you want them to contribute you know have that conversation you know that's my thought process on it um i'm not just going into jamez's account even though i'm a joint like he has a minor account he's only 17 but once he turned 18 if he um obviously those that kid um checking account and savings account will be pushed over to a like a, an adult account um but at that point if he doesn't want me on it i don't need to be on it but right now while you are 17 and not legally an adult i am going to be on your account um but once he turns 18 i don't care <laughs> um i don't touch his money um i do get to see where he's spending his money and that's a video for another that's something else i wanted to talk about like parenting you know um parenting it is tough um especially when you really are invested in your kids you do a lot for them 
and you just want to see the best for them. You know, when you care, there's a lot of people that can care less about their kids and what they get into. Um, but yeah, I'll save that in for another video. Um, I'm not being negative or anything, but it's just the life that we live in in the world that we live in, unfortunately. Okay. So that's where we are money wise. <laughs> I owe money. Jamez is getting a refund, which is, I'm happy for him. Um, so with that being said, I did write down what my balance is, what my balance is. So <clears throat> my savings account is that this is not including like the other savings that I have in CDs. Okay. And this does not include my rent savings either. This is my savings just for savings. <laughs> Some people may call it an emergency fund. I just call it a savings uh, account. So my balance was, or yeah, currently is $2,761. And that includes my um, car paint, my car, uh, what is it? My car fixing um, bill, okay? I know my car is supposed to get fixed this Friday, but I just asked them just to pay out right for it. We already knew the price. I'm like, you have to order the part. Let me just pay for everything right now. Get it done and out the way with, I want to see my actual balance. <laughs> um, and then, so it's $2,761. Now, you subtract away from there the amount that I owe, $559 for state, for federal, and then $289 for state. I will be left with $1,913, which is amazing. And I understand that. That is amazing. Um, so that's where my balance will be at once those two things clear. My next thing is this, okay? Do I feel comfortable with just having $1,913? I like to be on the way of $3,000 readily available to me because life throws things at you, you guys. And I can't say it enough, you know. It is definitely important to have a savings. I don't care how small it is. I don't care how small it is. It gives you that peace of mind, okay? It gives you that peace of mind. And it's very important for me, especially when I'm dealing with my mental health and things like that. Even if I wasn't dealing with mental health, finances is something that is very important in everybody's lives. You know, if you, you have to have money for food, you have to have money for rent and all of these things, mortgages, your ta property taxes, everything, you know, evolves, evolves around money. We have to put in work for those things too. So yeah. So my thought process, I have something that's coming up, okay? My CD, my CD is going to mature on, I think it's, yeah, April 10th. So I have to figure out what I wanna do with that money. So right now it is at like 25,930 something dollars. Um, because I do, my interest has been around like 90 to $95 per month or $96 per month. My rate on that CD is at a 4.5%. Um, now, that savings is just a savings that I, I don't ever want to touch, <laughs> okay? Not for like purposes of emergencies. That is me trying to build my wealth okay um i don't want to have to dip into that so here we are we are coming up on um me and um my my cd maturity so my thought process is this um i am going to Pull those funds out of the of that CD um, because there are CDs that are, have a higher rate. So when I got into my CD almost a year ago, that was prior to um, what is it called? That was prior to like the Federal Reserve um, increasing like their interest rates, right? 
um so because of that i kind of missed out on some extra money because <laughs> right now i know some i think it did go up to like i seen some they were like at five point something now like my online ones i'm seeing it at just it be at five um five percent five point zero zero percent annual percentage rate or annual percentage yield so I, i'm i'm definitely going to pull it out of that because right now if i were to renew it the current rate is at a four at in discover it is at 4.80 annual percentage yield and i'm like I rather put it somewhere else where I can get 0.20% more in my annual percentage yield. So that's that. Now I'm trying to debate if I want to take the money that I earned for, for interest and keep that out to build back up my savings that I can touch for, you know, bills or anything that I may fall short with, with my regular income. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is, um, the other thing is, I, I would love to just keep the 20, because once it renews, I'll have like another 90 something dollars. So that's to say $26,000. I was thinking about putting that all into a new savings, but I think I'm just going to keep it at 25000 um, and cause I have to build back up this other savings, you know, life just throws curveballs, y'all. Yes, I do rent, but you never know. Something could happen with the cars again. Um, you just never know. So I'd rather have more money out than in a CD where I can't touch it. So that's my thought process. Let me know. What would you guys do? Let me know. I, I am very interested to know your thoughts, um, but I am definitely going to put it into a CD that earns more. And my other train of thought is, do I do that as soon as possible? Because um, my interest rate on my savings is that my regular savings, whether it's Capital One or Discover, they're both the same, like at 4.30% annual percentage yield. I don't, I don't think I automatically want to put it back into another CD because with the Federal Reserve and their upcoming meetings, I'm wondering if they're going to increase the interest, like their prime rate again, higher. And if they do, then there's a possibility that the annual percentage yield on like the savings and CDs may go up. I ain't trying to lose out on no money. I already lost some money because <laughs> my CD is at a 4.50%. So that's my train of thought. Um, the next thing is um, I did kind of do the similar thing with my rent savings. So with my rent savings, I have um, I have like $130 that's out and about in my rent savings. The other $3,000, I've said, well, let me just go ahead and put that into a one-year CD. So that's what I did. I did that back like in February, beginning of February. So I'm like, let me get more money and plus with the, um, everything with like the Federal Reserve. I don't know how things are going to go with the interest rates. And I'm like, it's just $3,000. I don't ever plan on touching that for my rent unless times get really hard. But then I'm like, well, I could put that in into a CD and then obviously I'll have this my up uh, my regular savings so if something were to come up in between the time then I'll have that money so that's where my train of thought is of at least having the 28,000 all together tied up in CDs um so yeah let me know your thoughts um but that's where I'm at y'all I'll be stuck with $1,913, which I know is very, very good. Um, I can't say this enough. It's very important for me to live below my means, but I'm also content, you know, contentment is, it makes it just that much easier and you're still happy. Um, I'm not influenced by what I see, what people have. There's, you know, some lifestyles, it's just like, well, if they have that, I want that. I, 
I'm not easily influenced. Um, I know my money. I know where I how I want to feel. I have been I have been through a struggle before. I've been through a struggle a lot, whether it was financial abuse for my husband or you know, just starting all out after he passed away and being in a brand new area working part-time it's it's been a lot you guys know i've been in debt <laughs> i got out of debt with you guys and then i got back into it and i got out of it and it's been years since i've been out of debt and i plan on staying that way it's a wonderful feeling knowing that when i get my paychecks i'm not having to have monthly payments to go towards debt like i told my niece she's like i want to be like you i said well once you get out of debt, that feeling, like say for if you're you, between everything, between car payments, listen to this, between car payments, say for if your car payments $250, which we know most people nowadays is a lot higher, say for if it's $250, and then on top of that, look into your credit cards, right? If you have credit cards, Let's say those minimum payments, if you have three of them, minimum payment is $35. So that right there, 350, 250 plus another, what is that, like 100? Oh, yeah, yeah. So let's say that's like 300. What is that? <laughs> like 300, let's say $380. That $380 for no car payment and no debt payment, even just the minimum, that can go straight into, you know, savings or doing whatever else you want. You know what I mean? So that's where I'm at. You know, I'm able to do that because I don't have these additional debts that I have to pay towards every single month. I am strictly just putting that extra money that I would be putting in to those things into savings. And it's been, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. And I know some people will be like, oh, you're so fortunate. I am fortunate, but I have worked at this. None, none of the stuff was given to me. You know what I mean? You guys have seen me work two jobs, three jobs at a time, being a single mom, you you have seen me do this um it's it hasn't been easy it hasn't been easy um you know i will say this also my mental health plays a part in it too because look at this i quit my previous full-time job which it's been it's been a while now it's been what like three years now i quit i quit like out of the blue <laughs> And the, the craziest thing, I just got out of debt, I got my son's car, and then I quit. You know, um, it, it, was, it was just crazy. Now, I know prior to me doing that, yes, I did accumulate what I had saved up $30,000. I did save up $30,000, um, and then... When I had quit, I was living off of that to help me, you know, to survive in between that time. But that's where I've been at, you know, and I'm just trying to build back up to 30000 And I'm still not there just yet. Well, I am there, but, you know, it's just like you you move up and then you go back down. But it is, that's life, you know, that's life. Give me a moment. There was a dog that walked past. <laughs> you know, my girls don't know how to act. Um, and y'all may be wondering, like, Candace, why are you sitting in the car? <laughs> because my girls like to be outside. Um, yeah, I'm not starting up the car or anything. But, yeah, it, it fools them. Um, it's nice to have the little breeze coming in and out. Um, and it's still earlier in the day. It's probably, at this point, it's probably around 10 o'clock. Um, but yeah, versus them keeping on going to the door, wanting to get out. I'm just like, I just come out here, sit around. 
a little bit with them um and then i talked to you guys so <laughs> that's that um but yeah you guys that's where i'm at financially um right now um you know i wanted to save up this year i still feel like i can save up uh, five, uh, five at least five thousand dollars um <laughs> i really feel like that um once i get back to work and once i have my full paychecks i feel like i will be able to build that back up you figure both me and jamez's cars are set for the rest of this year um jamez's car goes back in for inspection in december but at that point he will be 18 he's going to be responsible for any Thing he has to get fixed on his car mine doesn't come back around until um march of next year so i'm gonna be straight at at this point the only thing i will have to you know that will come out of pocket per se because i don't feel like anything else will go wrong with my car hopefully <laughs> for another year um like I said, the bill for the $3,000 that I had in November was from things that I wanted to get looked at because it was bothering me. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I just wanted to be safe driving. So that bill was just me strictly getting my car checked out. Um, what else was there? But yeah, if I could save up 5000 the rest of this year i feel like i can um i will start to have like full paychecks starting in mm, full paychecks starting in april and then i will if i do qualify for any monthly bonuses that may be like another two months before i start to see anything or three months so, yeah, I got to get back into that momentum. But I'll talk to you guys about the work aspect and my money because of my mental health. Um, and that's why everything is so important to me because it's just me, you know. I don't have anybody else to take care of me. Plus, I know my mental health is not the best. And it's a work in progress, you know. Uh, it's a work in progress. But who who wouldn't want to be financially stable enough you know uh, to not have to worry about bills you know if they get laid off uh, somebody gets decreased hours any of that right um i know i don't i want that peace of mind and i have that and it's a wonderful feeling and i tell you guys that all the time um you guys know i'm not bragging but this when you live your life a certain way this is a benefit of it it is truly a benefit from it you know when i had quit my full-time job i was okay i was okay not mentally and emotionally but i was okay financially and i was able to it's a good feeling when you know you can take care of yourself and who cares about the bills you know what i mean um, I'm able to just strictly focus on myself and I told you guys this year is all about me and that's what I've been doing um, I feel like I'm making some very good progress too and it feels amazing uh, so I can't wait to talk to you guys about that um, what else is there I think that's it I wanted to talk to you guys about my savings um, my CD maturing in April and what I plan on doing with that um, I really, about the CD situation, I'm trying to figure out if I want to wait until the next Federal Reserve meeting to see if they're going to uh, raise interest rates again, because if they do, then your girl wants to hop into the CD once the interest rates raise, but you know, you can't play the system. You don't know what they're going to do, right? If they start to decrease the, or start to decrease that prime rate. Uh, or that variable, or what is it called? Prime rate? Yeah, it's like prime. Well, when on a credit card, it's like prime rate plus the variable interest rate from the bank. Um, 
so yeah if they if it starts to go down i guess i wouldn't really lose that much money if it goes down to like 4.80 versus the 5.0 percent annual percentage yield but we'll see we'll see um i do hope you guys are doing well i want to have a, a nice summer <laughs> uh what is this spring and summer it's been nice like this whole week is going to be like in the 70s and that's amazing it feels good um so yeah i will actually talk with you guys later this is strictly talking to you guys about my finances <laughs> um we'll get into like my income and things in another video because that's going to be tied in with my mental health um parenting is going to be another video um my student loans I'm going to talk with you guys about that. There's still still some things that I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen um, in regards to if there's going to be a refund of one payment, like my little, the, the last smaller payment that I got, that I made in January. And I also want to see how it affects my credit score. And, you know, sometimes that could be like a month or so before, um, you know, the uh, credit bureaus are updated um, or when the system checks it uh, to tell me what my FICO or credit score is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a, those are the three videos I want to do. Mental health, school loans, and parenting. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing well. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing better. I'm doing better, um, but I'm still a work in progress. And that's okay. As long as we're making progress, I will take it. All right. Bye, you guys.